Right now at noon, we continue to follow that brush fire alert going on in West Broward. It's already forced evacuations and burned more than 1,000 acres. The fires impacting schools nearby. Outdoor activities have been restricted or canceled due to the flames. Let's go now to Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay. He's live in West Broward now with the very latest on this brush fire battle. And I can tell you, I live out that way. Mm. It's really impacting the air quality. Yeah, you can certainly smell it in the air. You know, at the close of business yesterday, about a thousand acres had burned, but we just received word that more than 4,600 acres have burned. You can still see that intensity behind me. And we also have Sky 10 live over this brush fire as well. You can see these uh, tall flames leaping up from all of the brush that is being burned from this grass fire. And fire crews at this point this afternoon, they're still having a tough time trying to contain this burning brush. New images from Sky 10 this afternoon shows a fast moving fire quickly growing in size. It's been a dicey week for a mobile home park just west of US 27 that has found itself in and out of the fire's path. Very scary, very scary. We don't know what's going to happen. Firefighters are facing a tough battle in trying to contain the burning brush. For three days now, crews have positioned themselves in a way to get an advantage on the flames. But Mother Nature, in the form of a cold front and strong winds, just isn't helping. I don't think it's getting any better. No, it's not getting any better, and it's the, the smoke and the smell, it's... It's really bad. On Thursday, the smoke and flames came dangerously close to Everglades Holiday Park, forcing residents and visitors to evacuate. I was very anxious. There's ash everywhere. Um, we were worried about coming back to no van. It's like it's snowing in Florida. The ashes is falling from the sky. It's time to get out of here. It's getting close in about a minute. And not the sight that folks who traveled from near and far had hoped to see on their spring break. Just down the road, the smoke is providing an eerie backdrop to West Broward High School, where classes are in session today. But we're told that administrators are assessing the ash threat, even moving to keep kids indoors if the air quality conditions worsen. Got to stay inside the house because it's for my health. And that is good advice, especially if you have a compromised immune system. Another live look from Sky 10 right now. Again, this is a very intense fire, and it appears that it may have started yet another fire just uh, south of the Broward County line in Miami-Dade County. In fact, in, uh, investigators right now and fire crews are in the process of evacuating uh, Max Fish Camp. So we, we have both Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue and also Miami-Dade Fire Rescue both helping to assist the Florida Forest Service in trying to put out these flames. It's a big effort underway this afternoon. Again, 4,600 acres burn, and this fire is only about 30% contained. As for Everglades Holiday Park, as we come back here on the ground, I can tell you that things are back to normal here. Uh, this brush fire does not appear to be affecting Everglades Holiday Park, at least right now where we are today. We'll keep you updated. We are live in West Broward. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.